release was negotiated on the basis that you're incapacitated and can't pose a threat to the community. Well, and if that should change? There's every chance that she'll be referred to a psychiatric facility. Tracy's health's a priority at the moment. If she can't walk, then I guess we just have to focus on that for the time being. What did you want to tell me that you couldn't say in front of Daniel? He's involved in a stolen car ring. What? Look, it's true. There is a full-on police investigation into him. What's in it, Daniel? Don't be stupid, Rich. No, show me. Can you remember the things we used to do? I'll draw your picture, send a message to the moon. Here I am, there you are, out of the blue. This is the place that we belong to. This is our place in the sun. Lucia, please listen to me. Why? So you can tell me some more lies? No, no, I'll tell you the truth. Look, I don't want to hear it, OK? I stole the cars. I made it happen anyway. How could you lie to me? I'm sorry. I'm going to the police. No, so you're a liar and a criminal. Daniel, why don't you let me have a word to Lucia? I can handle it. I'm sure you can, but you both need to take a step back. Calm down. There's nothing more to say. Please, indulge me. Have a seat. I'd rather stand. There's a lot you don't know about Daniel. What I have to say, I need to take some time. Either your information was wrong or McManus was tipped off that we were on our way. He must have figured out that I checked his phone and moved the cars just before you got there. Oh, great. Well, now that he knows what we are watching, we're never going to get any deeper inside his operation. I'm sorry. Sorry doesn't cover it, son. His girlfriend, Lucia. I'm a close friend of hers. I see her nearly Look, every you day. you interfered with an official police investigation and you tipped off a criminal with your amateur detective work. McManus wouldn't have lasted this long if he was stupid enough to get caught by some mullet head like you. Now get out of here. Yes, Daniel is involved with criminals. He has been for years. And you're okay with that? Of course not. I thought Daniel was working with you, running errands in your company. He was, once. But he got bored. Started hanging out with these low-life types. Well, then why don't you do something? I mean, you're his mother. You're right. A lot of it is my fault. His upbringing wasn't... Well, it wasn't what I would have liked it to be. I can't help thinking if he'd had a stronger father figure, then things wouldn't have gone so wrong. I know you see something in Daniel. A good person, under all the toughness. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here. I thought I did. If you ring the police over this, it will be the worst thing you could do for Daniel. If he doesn't deliver those cars, as agreed, the man who ordered them will be very unhappy. Fletch is a very dangerous man, and Daniel would never admit it, but he's scared of him. And so am I. Well, I'm sure the police would protect him. No, they can't. Fletch has contacts on the street, in jail, everywhere. If he thinks Daniel's gone to the police, my son will not be safe anywhere. Please, I'm begging you, don't go to the police. Let him finish this one deal, and I promise you, it will be his last. Trace, I don't care where you do the physio, all right? Just as long as you do it. Well, they're coming at 10, so there's no getting out of it. You have to want to do this. I do. Well, stop thinking about what's going to happen afterwards. Well, it's a bit hard not to, and I know that if I walk, I'm going to go to jail. If that happens, and they want to send you to prison, then we'll fight it. Whatever it takes. Come on, just think of Zoe. And imagine the look on her face when she sees you walk. And I'd love to see you dance again. I'm a terrible dancer. Yeah, I just miss laughing at you, that's all. <laughs> look, this could be a one shot, you know? Jay, I... I mean it. Just focus on the one thing, the physio. No, Jared, I want to talk to you about the... Um... Hey, Jay. Hey. Oh, by the way, remind me to never stick my neck out again. What's happened? You know, I almost catch Daniel McManus red-handed with stolen cars, and you know what I get for it? I'm guessing the operative word here is almost. You know, Wilson rips into me. Lucia doesn't believe a word I say. 
Mate, you've only been at the academy for a week. It's still wet behind the ears. Why don't you just leave it up to the professionals, eh? I might just go to bed. Hey, what what did you want to talk to me about? Ah, uh, forgotten. I don't, I don't know. I think important. Right. Right. Mum dropped me off. Can we read the story? You know what? I think we can read too. What about April? April could be good. Uh, Easter. It usually rains about that time. I was thinking about a beach wedding and then a honeymoon in the sun. Right, then December. Oh, uh, well, there's New Year's and Christmas. as well. really no time for a wedding. Well, we're looking at the year after that then. At this rate, I'll be going down the island and walking. Hey! What are we looking at? Um, a date for the wedding. Hey, this is next year. Not of long engagements, but this is ridiculous. Well, there's a lot to organise. Well, there's no rush. Well, as long as you're not waiting for the divorce, I'll be long dead before that happens. Angela. Well, it's the truth. There's no point sugarcoating it. Well, we don't know what's going to happen. All I'm saying is don't put your happiness on hold for my sake, okay? <laughs> 